Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have learned about the view child decorator. We have seen it. And now in this video, we will try to see a simple example in how many different ways we can access the view child. We can access this view child decorator for the different types of elements. So for this one, what we will try to do is so we have already the component, right? So we have already a component is there and also we are having some method, something like some method is there. And in, a, in our view child component example, here we are trying to access this app hover element. Okay, so this is the hover component and this is the myref component. So both the components we are having it. And now before going to this one, so we will create a decorator also. So for the directive, sorry, directive, we will create a directive and we'll learn about these directives uh, afterwards. So just I want to explain it to you. And here, uh, how can I change this one to? Let's try to create a uh, decorative. Here it is not running, right? So we will automatically try to run the decorative. So here ng g uh, generate directive. Okay, you can also use the d. And here I am using the simple uh, old example only, which we will be able to find it more documentation and all those things. So highlight directive. I am creating a highlight directive. Let me close this one. Okay, and it will create. It will create the directive. It will take some time. So we can also access this direct a direct to element also we can also access this directive using the view child so that is the reason i want to show you and also we have another another way which we can access it that is nothing but the view container ref for uh, creating the dynamic components and all those things which we'll discuss afterwards for those scenarios also we will be using this view child so there are different types of things where we will be using possible scenarios where we will be using this view child direct decorator so here let it create so here the highlight directive is also created. Now let's open this highlight okay, directive.ts file. So we have also the spec file which we have. Now this one is our selector, app, highlight and all those things. So now we are having this app highlight directive, right? So now in this one selector and this is standalone true. And in this constructor, we will be getting the element private el of type element ref. Okay, so I am adding this element and here in this constructor, what I will try to do is el dot native element. So we will be able to get this native element. So let it uh, get native element dot style. Okay, dot background color. Okay, background color is equal to yellow. So whatever the thing you want, you can mention it. So this is the directive which we will be trying to create. So don't worry about if, if you don't know about the directive. We will try to learn about this one in the upcoming videos about the directives also. So if you want to know more about these all things means you have already my previous Angular course. So those things also you can learn it in Angular 17. This is Angular 17, right? So I am hoping that you have a knowledge on the Angular thing. Now, <coughs> view child is there. So let's try to use the view child also. Now here we have this uh, directive component, right? Now let's try to access this one. Let's go into our uh, view child component.html. So first one is the uh, div element. Okay. And here this is the div element. And here we will be having an app hover. And here we can also have another one, the something like div element. Okay. And for this div element, what I will try to do is um, what I will try to do is um, I will add here container ref. Okay. So just don't think about this also. So just it's a placeholder we have, which I am trying to use it. And this is our hash my ref, right? So this one I will be using app hyphen app highlight. Okay. App highlight. And uh, for this one also, what I will try to do is so app highlight. Okay. So this is the thing. And now this app highlight for this one, we need to import the decorative. So there is nothing but app highlight. Sorry highlight right highlight directive that's it so now we have imported this highlight directive and here also you will be able to access this one so that's it <coughs> so now if you try to app highlight so this is not the okay okay highlight to your music and uh, here what is the name of this highlight directive i app highlight right and in this html also i will be able to access this one and here also i will be able to access this one so that's it so now if you try to see this output for this one okay we are getting an error so let's try to ng 
serve hyphen hyphen open oh sorry ng serve hyphen hyphen open so let it run the server and here we will keep it like this only okay so now we need to access this hash myref also we are able to access it now if i want to access the component so how we can able to access the component here i will be able to access the whole component so we have also another option that is nothing but read option so how this view child option should be read as so this should be read as hover click component okay and this should this one should be read as element ref so read it as an element sorry read this as element ref okay and we have another one that is nothing but container ref right so at the rate view child okay i will close this one at the rate view child and here we are having this container ref and here we can able to access that one as read it should be read as container ref view container ref okay read it as view container ref and here also you can have, you can have container ref of type view container ref that's it so we are having three elements and also the last element also you can have it that is nothing but highlight directive so highlight directive also you can uh, you can use it and that one is <coughs> so at the rate view child so here we will be using this uh, view child highlight highlight directive and uh, here uh, we can write it as at the rate mm, view child okay where is this going on so view child right so view child okay and here uh, uh, i will be using um, here i will be using view child and uh, this one is highlight directive highlight okay highlight directive and here also i can use read uh, highlight directive okay and this one should be something like uh, which we can use it is so whichever you want you can use it uh, highlight directive uh, we can use the name something like highlight directive highlight directive that's it okay so now we can use this one that's it now here these are the four child elements which we will be having now if i want to access this one so now we will be able to access first one is the myref okay myref i will try to access it so let's try to see one by one here you will be able to see this one right yellow color it is coming because of the directive thing and here i am able to access it so we have kept it straight the static true that is the reason we are able to get it in the ng on it also now uh, ref we are able to access it hover component if you want to access this hover component and hover component also we can able to access it that is nothing but here hover click component also we can able to access view container ref now if i want to access this container ref also we can able to access this one container but this one is a view container ref i will try to explain you about this one view container ref we will use it for uh, access for adding the dynamically created components we will be using it and highlight directive last one and here if you try to give this highlight directive then also we will be able to access this highlight directive also see here this highlight directive also we can able to access so this is how we will be able, we will be able, in this different ways we can access this view child directive view child decorator so that is the main difference which i want to tell you okay so that is the main thing so these are the different ways which we can access this decorator so here uh, we can use it view child decorator we can use it for the element we can use it for a component we can use it uh, we can use it for an element and also the same element we can use it but this in this time instead of accessing it with an element ref we can access it with a view container ref that is nothing but i will try to explain you while creating the dynamically created components and this one is a directive so whenever whenever you are having a directive to this one app highlight directive then also you can use it so in this way you can use it so this is how we will be using the view child in different scenarios what i will do is i will co commit this code in a new branch that is video hyphen 21 and i will commit this entire code so whoever may be having doubts or anything so they i will be providing the github repository error be below to this video so now this is nothing but view child example right so 
so that's it guys about this view child like to example uh, decorator example if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you